that's number one is we've we've never lost a penny of principal for an investor ever we are going to work really hard to be able to say that 10 20 30 50 years from now so what would you say the number one secret is for dlp being able to unlock that freedom for investors yeah, I mean, there's there's a, a, a few things for sure. I mean, if you look at just the monetary aspect of it or just the results aspect of DLP, we are always focused rules number one, two, three, and four and five, never lose money ever for an investor. And Don will tell you, Don Winner, our founder and CEO, you'll hear from everyone on this team that there would never be a time that we would have ever taken in investor capital if we ever thought that there was a possibility of losing money. Now look, all investments have a certain level of risk. We understand all that, right? But if you make every decision in your business with that in mind first, there's not a lot else that is going to be able to go, <laughs> go wrong, right? So you have that focus and you say, okay, you're going to make sound decisions. You're not going to go chasing shiny objects. You're going to do what you know you can do best. And then you just do a, a lot of it. So that's number one is we've, we've never lost a penny of principal for an investor ever. We are going to work really hard to be able to say that 10, 20, 30, 50 years from now. So rule number one, never lose a dollar. And and as part of that being great stewards, which leads us into our first, uh, yes. we have these blocks here. We're going to be yes. sharing. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see the blocks. If you're listening to it on the podcast, go to the YouTube channel. Uh, this probably is going to be on the DLP Capital's YouTube channel, but also on the Capital Gains Tax Solutions YouTube channel. Yes. We have these blocks here, and it talks about uh, being great stewards. In fact, I'm not sure if the steward is on these two blocks, but I know that's one of the major values. So talk about the value of stewardship and how DLP Capital is using that to guide in that direction for making sure they're not losing capital for investments. Yes. We, we want to be fierce stewards of our investor capital by doing good and doing well with the things that we're given. And so we don't take it lightly that people are investing their hard-earned dollars with us, their, their lifelong savings, everything that they're working to build over many, many years. Um, that's a huge responsibility. And so we take that very seriously. And so that era of stewardship is, okay, well, we're not doing all this for ourselves, right? We're doing it for others and we're doing it to make that bigger impact. I, I know I say that a lot, but that's really what it's all about. And so when we're looking at stewardship and we're saying, you know, doing good things and being productive uh, with what we're given and protecting that, again, that's the conduit that helps us do many, many other things. But it does always come down to that stewardship, number one. Absolutely. It's like looking, it's like taking your, uh, taking your eyes and putting lens on of stewardship, right? So how are we going to make sure we're doing right by the client, right by uh, the investor, right by your team members, right? Everything that you're doing. Also making an impact with the housing itself. Right. So talk about, I think, maybe the number two secret for DLP to unlock not only investors' dreams, right? Let's say of passive, you know, uh, financial freedom, yeah. but also the dreams for the tenants that are in these multifamily properties and some of the vision behind, uh, you know, and ending, you know, homelessness as much as we can. Yes. And I think there's probably going to be a counter on the screen here saying how many times I say impact, but we're impact funds. We're impact investors by mandate. Our funds are mandating us. And we made that decision very actively to say we're going to be impact investors. And what does that mean? For instance, there's one thing where in our homes, we call them our homes, you know, they're, they're not units or they're not, you know, apartments. I mean, they are in, in general, right? But these folks live, this is their home and it's workforce housing. So it's folks that either want to or have to pay less than, you know, 50, 60 percent of what their monthly income is, because that's what a lot of other people are charging. In our uh, homes, in our communities, we're charging no more than 30 percent of an area's median income. And so what does that do? If you're not spending half or more of your monthly income, and you have room to be able to go and do things with your kids or you be able to you know actually have a, a savings and, and and build that nest egg um, take yourself from this level of of whatever your socioeconomic uh, scenario might be and level up and so that's you know at the very basic level being able to give folks the ability to live fully which is another one of our core values but how are you supposed to live fully if you're spending the majority of your hard-earned uh, income on living expenses it just doesn't make any sense and to your point you know and you know the the shortage of affordable housing in this country it's not getting any better we still have a shortage of over three million uh homes uh for affordable housing and it's just it's not going to get better unless we chip away at it so you know and again we can't do that alone so we partner with other great operators in the lending side as well as on partnerships um, our 2400 plus investor families that we serve they're out there they're doing similar things 
but we set the example in terms of really being focused on helping folks take that next step in their life and be able to live fully, be able to thrive, um, and be able to really then think about legacy. Because if you're just trying to survive day in, day out, there's no, there's no doubt that like, there's no time to think about legacy because you're just trying to keep the lights on. 